Hi, it's Anne Marie here from JBT Marine. I thought I'd do a quick video just to show you um, the air rider aftershock that you've inquired about. Um, so I'll just do a quick um, outside and inside video for you just so you can get a true feeling for what she's like at the moment. Um, as I'm sure you're aware, she's an aluminium hull um, with the tubes. She's been stored ashore for quite a lot of her life. Um, she came here to us um, from Jersey or Guernsey um, under her own steam um, and she's been ashore with us now for about 10 months. She's powered by four 300 Suzuki outboards all on their own jack plate so you can individually adjust the trim. Uh, the two central engines are um, for the thrust and the two outside engines are for the steering and they're attached by a tie by there that you can see nice big chunky ladder to get on board so we'll hop on up and have a look on the deck okay here we are on her deck she's got this uh, synthetic flexi teak throughout it's an open wheelhouse nice wide side decks running up both sides of the boat the front here in the foredeck nice big open area she's got these ties uh, tie and points all the way around the bow there and uh, cockpit lights that go all the way uh, around the bow as well she's got some dry lockers at the front windlass Cockpit, then you've got a central winch position there, controls, seating, and the table, and then the wheelhouse here. Under the aft seat, all your filters, isolator switches, etc. So, for all your maintenance and boat checks, nice and easy access. The helm there, she's got Furuno uh, equipment. I can send you a complete list of everything that she's got on board. It's very well kitted out. And she's got four of these quite substantial seats, bolsters, and flip down so you can either stand or be in the seating position. Small accommodation here, ideal just for uh, overnighting. Um, you've got a V-berth there that converts into a, a generous bed, fridge, there's a microwave there. She's also got another coffin berth under there. Again, it's not a bad size. Large shingle, generous double. Nice place in there. And then we've got a small head in here with sea toilets. Now the pilot house is in uh, open, but it does have um, some rails for a canopy to seal off the back here, and I'm sure you could get screens made. Now the aluminium superstructure here has got a little bit of issue. Uh, it looks like moisture has got under the powder coating, and it's just flaking off. Um, this only seems to have affected the actual um, superstructure of the wheelhouse, uh, nowhere else on the boat, um, but obviously that can be reflected in any offers that are made. Try and get that so you can see it. So I think that's about everything, but if there's anything that you haven't seen that you'd like to, or if you've got any questions please let me know otherwise i'll send you a full list of her inventory and a bit more information on her build thanks very much